The Hungarian Prime Minister disputed the European Commission's assessment that Ukraine was making progress. We cannot decide to initiate an accession negotiation process. Orban also argued that admitting Ukraine would mean extra costs to the EU budget and profound implications for agricultural policy. If you allow this agriculture to enter the European agricultural system, it will destroy it the next day. We can't let them in without transforming our agricultural subsidy system. The consequences will be dire. But he signaled flexibility on other policy issues. When asked about being completely inflexible, even if the European Commission resolves 10 billion euros for Hungary, the Prime Minister said when a dilemma arises, I usually divide it into three categories historical, strategic and tactical. The Ukraine problem is a historical problem, a matter of size. The financial question is a tactical question. My more than 40 years of experience in politics has taught me that you should never associate technical issues such as money with historical challenges. So I don't want to reach an agreement on the Ukraine question. But I remain fully prepared to do so on other issues. Three meters ago 15.44 set summary of the day Hungary's Viktor Orban reiterated his opposition to starting EU membership negotiations with Kiev but also hinted that he was open to compromise on other issues. In an interview with Le Point, Hungarian Prime Minister insisted that Budapest opposed opening of accession negotiations because Ukraine was not ready and because of economic impact on EU. The European Commission is expected to release 10 billion euros of EU funds for Hungary. Despite concerns from some MEPs and civil society groups, Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo said European Council President Charles Michel and other EU leaders were doing what is necessary to ensure a productive council next week. Mep Catalan Say, a member of Hungary's Momentum Party, said Orban was serving as a Russian Trojan horse at the European negotiating table. Slovakia's progressive president Zuzana December 7. 2023 Yesterday's joint statement by Armenia-Azerbaijan is exactly the positive step needed towards sustainable peace. OSCE stands ready to help as a platform for ongoing dialogue and as an implementing partner for agreements. Buhar Osmani December 8, 2023 The joint statement between Armenia-Azerbaijan is an important step towards the trust and peace needed throughout the region beyond. It reaffirms its intention.